Hello my loves, Yar. This is Captain Blue here over at CGPirates.com. I hope you are well. I'm doing well, so what we are going to be talking about today is the ambient occlusion map, okay, which is the last main part of building this material. Now, if I just double click here on our play material, and you'll see we have a slot for our ambient occlusion to go into. And what I want to do is just quickly explain. So the ambient occlusion is basically going to simulate or pretend that the various crevices that we've put in here have shadows. Because like I said before, we have a six-sided cube that we've applied the materials to just there. And there isn't any actual real detail, so shadows wouldn't really exist if we tried to calculate them. But by doing this we can pretend, and that works just fine. Now, um, obviously this is called the ambient occlusion map, and it's normally created through a 3D modelling package. However, a lot of the time we're just going to be using things like Quixel and Mega Scans and Quixel's um, mixer to do this for us, which is a lot easier. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to just bring this across, there we go, and I'm going to drag down my ambient occlusion and let it go here, and then I'm going to get rid of that window because I don't really need it, and then with that selected just do a quick control S just to save, and I'm going to drag this up to here, and then just click here and drag it straight to the ambient occlusion and that's as difficult as it gets and now if you look if I go around my map and just press the left mouse button and drag you can see there's all these shadowy areas now okay you've got these little darker patches and you've got some shadowing going on in here and it's looking great okay so if I just click save just wait just a moment and then I'm going to close this down and over here I've got my plane obviously with a material applied to it and I'm just changing my camera speed to 3 just so I can get down there and I'm just going to go and have a look and you can see all the detail and the shadowing that's came in there okay and as I say this is just six polygons six squares with a material put on it okay imagine if we paint something and spend ages painting it and get this kind of detail where it looks like it's got all this kind of textured surface on you can do that but it takes ages but in this it doesn't it just takes seconds and you can play this in your game level okay so that is the very basics of the four materials so albedo ambient occlusion normal and roughness and now you kind of know what they do and we've got this plain material to go with it so in the next part I'm going to teach you some basic housekeeping and housekeeping is important so that you don't end up with folders that are very very hard to find things in. If you're a very orderly person you'll find this housekeeping section really useful and if you're not orderly then to be honest the practice will be useful because I'm not a very orderly person and so I have to really practice my housekeeping but it makes things so much quicker and easier and faster. Anyway that's enough talk. Remember, if you want to get in touch with me, you can contact me through the Facebook page. You can also send me a message through the website, or you can chat to me via Discord. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, bye-bye for now.